following is a women's division match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Memphis, Tennessee, Diana Taylor. What a crazy scene out here at the desk with Meklakoff and Ken Dang. Ken Dang making his presence felt here at Memphis Wrestling, but shifting gears, Diana Taylor, who they also are calling Dangerous Diana Taylor. DDT is in action next. And introducing next, her opponent from Cape Girardeau, Missouri, it's Little Bit. And this is our first look at Lil Bit, who is a regular at Liberty Pro Women's Wrestling. You can check them out at libertyprowrestling.com and order your custom matches also at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com slash store. One-on-one -on -one action, Diana Taylor. I hope her head is in the game here, Maria, because we just saw another threat, because that's what it is, a threat by Eric McMahon and, of course, Paris Kelly. And one would have to think, will we see the DDT from Diana Taylor today as they lock it up in the ring? Well, you know, Dustin, I've got a couple of things to say. When someone's breathing down your back with the cops and attorneys and just threatening all the time, it's hard to focus, truly. Sounds like you've been there before. I've been there. Um, but other than that, um, talking about the match going on right now a little bit, she's very cute. But... She's probably more dangerous than she looks. Yeah, there she's taking the arm and just slings Diana Taylor down by the hair. What a nasty move by a little bit. And again, this is her debut here at Memphis Wrestling. She has a lot to prove in there against the red hot Diana Taylor. Now, I know she's hit a couple of speed bumps, but it's all because of Eric McMahon and Paris Kelly. Well, those two are ruthless, and they've made it very clear they're out for the money, and that's all that they are out for. They have, and I think Diana Taylor is starting to smarten up to that, and a big body slam, or should I say a little body slam on a little bit. There's the cover. <laughs> One, two, near fall. Now, of course, we have crowned our Memphis Heritage Champion in Allen Steele. Was that a rake right to the eyes? Oh my goodness, the referee admonishing Lil Bit. We gotta step aside for just a second. Can Lil Bit keep the momentum and pick up the victory? Stay tuned. You have to put good things in to get great barbecue out. And no one in Memphis takes more care than Tops. Our master cooks grill the old fashioned way. Slow, with constant attention in an open pit. See, that's real hickory smoke for even more flavor. From shoulder to ribs or brisket to one of our world famous burgers, you'll love Tops because we do it right. Real barbecue always has been and always will be. Tops, come get you some barbecue. American Hostile Championship Wrestling live in Campbell, Missouri on June 12th. It's a big tag team match as bad boys by nature take on the Young Goats. Be there! Choosing Pro Shingle is like picking the perfect tag team partner, right Dave? You got that right. It's simple and easy. They'll even file your insurance claim for you. Give them a call. Tell them Dave and Dustin sent you. 901-258-6503. Our next free watch party at Dave & Buster's is WWE Hell in a Cell. Join us Sunday, June 20th. It's free to watch. Plus, you'll get a free game card. That's Dave & Buster's Wolf Chase. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling from Memphis. Lil Bit is still in control of Diana Taylor. Hooking her up here, stretching her out, trying to get the submission. Look how uncomfortable that looks, Maria. It looks very uncomfortable to me. My arm doesn't even bend that way, I'm not gonna lie. Most of your body doesn't bend any at all. What are you trying to say, I'm old here or what? I, you said it. Women's division action here. I was talking earlier that we crowned our Memphis Heritage Champion. There's been a lot of talk from the Young Goats about the tag team titles, but we've yet to see or be introduced to the Women's Division Championship, and I know that's coming very, very soon, and it's important to us here at Memphis Wrestling. It's important to me, and I'm sad that we haven't seen it yet. 
coming soon. Stay tuned at CW30 Wrestling or ChampionshipWrestlingMemphis.com. And of course, you can tune in here every Saturday at noon on CW30 Memphis or YouTube Premiere. Shout out to those who are chatting live with us right now as Lil Bit. Oh, right to the back and she's choking her right in your living room. Diana Taylor in big trouble right now. Truly though, if you didn't know any better, they could be a tag team. I think that's the last thing on their mind right here. As I mean, it's clearly the last thing on their mind. Literally trying to break Diana Taylor's arm. And if she doesn't break the hold by five, it's a disqualification. So you, you got to break the arm or? Either break the arm or break the hold. <laughs> Jeez. Ruthless, Maria. Looks like Lil Bit has the confidence on her side at this point. She's, and the crowd. Yeah, she's in no hurry for what she's gonna do to Diana Taylor as she clubs her on the back with a double ax handle. If you haven't seen live inside of our Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center, shame on you. Get your tickets right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. What a forearm by Diana Taylor. Sends a little bit to the mat hard. Ducks the clothes on. Hits her with a second one. Diana Taylor's rocking and rolling, big back elbow. I'm telling you, Diana Taylor had victories over Cassandra Golden earlier on. Her first, oh, here she goes. Going for the DDT. If she hits it, it's over. Smart move by a little bit, ducking, but DDT. They call her Dirty Diana Taylor. One, two, three, and that's it. Diana Taylor. Victorious! Taylor. I'm gonna try to get a quick word with Diana Taylor about what we just saw from Eric McMahon and Paris Kelly. I'll be right back, Maria. Okay. Come on over here, Diana Taylor. What a victory. I know it had to be hard concentrating, especially after hearing what Eric McMahon and Paris Kelly had to say just before your match. They're literally calling you out, Diana. They say you've got one last chance to apologize or else. One last chance. Okay, I don't know if everybody knows, but me and Paris have known each other for a long time. Right. And I don't know what's gotten into her, and I don't know Eric, but I think he's got something planned. Well, next week you better be ready because there's no telling what they have up their sleeve. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, victorious today, it's Diana Taylor. Don't go anywhere, fans. We have more action still to come. About time.